We love the sweater. It's a good sweater. Did I see the cat? Yeah, he has a cat sweater on. I love it. <laughs> All right, David. I was just wondering if that might be a Gucci sweater over there. Is it? It could. It we'll could go be, with it. It could be says. a Gucci okay. sweater because Gucci sweaters are very special. All of the Gucci foundations, all of their sweaters, their shirts, their bags, everything, very, very fancy. Well, now there's a movie about House of Gucci. The House of Gucci might be a little bit different than we might think it is. We get a chance to see some of the movie right now, and I got a chance to talk to Lady Gaga. Take a look. Gucci. It was a name that sounded so sweet, so seductive. Go. Meet the family. Hey everybody, this is Patrizia, and this is my family. Lady Gaga is Patrizia Reggiani, the woman who twisted the House of Gucci into a high-stakes battle for power. Populated by a galaxy of superstars, Lady Gaga leads the way to the fashion giant's demise. Hello, Lady Gaga. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you, David? I am great. And what a beautiful movie with a fantastic cast. And I was wondering, when you became Patrizia, did, what, what did you like about her? What did you learn about her that you liked about her? You know, uh, I think what I liked about Patrizia, uh, which is something that I learned Maurizio loved about her, was her strength. I think that she had a lot of strength and she had an ability to survive in life in a way that I think a lot of women can relate to. Um, and also there's things about her that... I am less inspired by, you know, I think that her power and was very much an illusion. And it's one of my favorite things about this movie is that you never really truly feel like she's running Gucci. Right. There's just this illusion that she matters. And as soon as she asserts herself, she's over and over again by all these men told to, you know, that that it's not a girl's game and to keep her mouth shut. Gucci is not exciting and everybody knows it. At least it's my name, sweetie. Our name, sweetie. I got such a thrill out of meeting you at the Toronto Film Festival for A Star Is Born. And, you know, it's really wild to do that. And I was wondering, how about for you to work with Jeremy Irons and Pacino? Jeremy Irons is such a wonderful human being. Watching him act and, and even in rehearsal, he's like a dancer. And Al is the same way. I mean, he's just, but in a different way, in Al's way. And he's everything you would want the, the, the great Al Pacino to be. I felt treated so well also by this cast as, you know, I'm a, I'm a young actor and I was treated with so much respect and love and I was received in such an equal way. I have a lot of reverence for this cast and a lot of reverence for Ridley Scott. I love Ridley Scott. I always loved all his movies. I asked him one time if I should name my son Ridley. And he said, you better teach him how to fight first. <laughs> Ridley's so funny. Thank you very much for spending the time with us today. Thank you so very much. So you think you want to see it? I, I can't wait to see it. What do you see uh, Leto in it too, man? It's just it's just unbelievable. And, and all the performances are great. You know, she was nominated for an Academy Award for A Star is Born. And you think she'll get one again for this, probably, She'll right? get a nomination, I think. I mean, she's just incredible. And when you watch a character, I mean, you, you never really see Lady Gaga in a character. You just see this woman. And I asked her about the accent, which was a long part of the conversation. And it's one of those things that was difficult for her to get to, but she had a voice person to help her learn how to do it. But then once she got it, she stayed in it the entire time, like during breaks, at lunch. That at makes night. sense to just keep and the she, continuity going. She just going. stayed in it. She said, you know, she says it was easy for me to do once I got it because I'm a singer. I sing all different genres of music. So I understood the tongue and the working of it and all that. But once I had it, I didn't want to lose it. She's so talented. She could pick up anything. Like she said, she's a new actress, yeah. but she's so talented. Yeah. Anything she touches turns to The word trippy is from like back, back from my generation, but you know, she's a trippy personality. You know, she's got a lot of size. I can't wait to see it. It's yeah. going to be good. It's going to be good. Talk.